Good afternoon, my name is Holly Torres from the University of Ricardo Palma, and I will present a research Lomas Ecosystem Landscape, an approach to the ecosystem-based adaptation for the climate change adaptation in the metropolitan area of Lima. Lima has fragile focoasis ecosystems called Lomas, located as a green urban edge with an area of 70 hectares, rich in flora and fauna. Lomas are part of the ecological structure as they constitute green insulates in the middle of the desert. Of the 67 llamas in Peru, 20 are located in, in Lima, becoming home to 850 species of vascular plants and 352 species of fauna. Llamas are then one of the most sensitive scenarios to climate change since it will affect the decreasing cloud cover and their ability to capture mist water to survive. Due to the legal framework and policy tools at the national and metropolitan level, EWAS approach has strained by giving wider recognition to the value of Lomas ecosystem through the establishment of the regional conservation areas to protect five Lomas in 2019. The research seeks to critically analyze the integration of EWAS approach in Lomas ecosystems into urban policies for climate change adaptation. This by following twofold aim. One, to offer an overview of EVA quality standards, and two, to evaluate drivers of vulnerability in urban governance. This work represents then our contribution to call further investigations as well as to generate greater diffusion in the local society about the relevance for the protection and restoration of Lomas ecosystems. Again, determinant concerns and reasons for EVA's integration into urban policies the policy aspects and two complementary approaches. The research principally considers the assessment framework for EVA that provides an index of quality of standards. The lower value of them, the more, more vulnerable of EVA is EVA's integration for the LOMAS ecosystems. So after analysis of the city's relationship with LOMAS, the legal and policy framework and institutions and community participation, Lima has not a clear understanding of the EVAS approach and climate change awareness across levels of government, although it is officially stated in the framework law on climate change. As a result, the quality standards for making EVA effective are very weak in the three elements and the initial planning phase. LOMAS protection needs an appropriate articulation between governance and EVA. It faces weak environmental governance and capacities due to poor collaboration and support and disinterest in environmental issues across a range of governance levels, allowing the increase of stress such as inappropriate uses adjusting to the LOMAS. It is necessary to develop robust studies that integrate all LOMAS because today five of 20 LOMAS have been selected while raising awareness of good practices for the decision-making processes for better and effective management planning and equitable provision of ecosystem services. It is urgently required to define a new for the limitation and monitoring protocol, both against invasions and from different sources of contamination and assessments for the real surface and the biodiversity to guide correct decision making. The key responsibility relies on local governments, which without scientific criteria will not be able to effectively implement EPA. Besides, it is not clear the coordination of efforts between the municipalities when the LOMAS encompass different districts. Likewise, the fact of not accounting for a metropolitan urban development tool diminishes the potential to incorporate ecosystem services in multiple levels of governance. Given the environment effects do not know of administrative borders, it is time for Lima to think and develop solutions that combine nature and biodiversity through multidisciplinary and holistic approaches and managing skills, including a landscape approach to address the interconnectedness and the interdependencies between urban and non-urban areas. Thank you very much for this opportunity.